For the first time since I can remember, I decided to purchase a set of bicycle wheels that I did not hand build myself. So what prompted me to go this route? These are the Super Gucci Bird Hawk 27 wheels featuring We Are One carbon rims, Onyx hooked flanged Vesper hubs, and of course, Bird Ultralight Dyneema spokes. And in today's video, I'll go through all the tech and specs that make these my dream wheels for mountain biking and bikepacking. And hopefully shed some light on why I was so willing to splurge and drop my hard-earned cash on them. If you're new to this channel, thanks for tuning in to Dirty Teeth, and if you're a return customer, welcome back. Okay, so why did I decide to buy complete wheels instead of building them myself? Ah, uh, there's three main reasons, I guess. Number one, my time and energy are at a premium these days. And when I was pulling the trigger on the new wheels, I was hustling to get out the door on a last minute ITT of the Arizona Trail 300. Spoiler alert, the ride went great and I had zero problems with the wheels, but I'll save a legit long-term review for another time after I've beaten them up some more. Number two is trust. These wheels are meticulously hand-built by Bird in Minnesota, and I have full confidence in their crew who do this day in and day out. Most importantly though is number three, I was actually able to purchase a set of off-the-shelf wheels that were spec'd exactly the way I wanted without compromising on any of the components. I was looking for a lightweight and resilient wheel set for rugged single track and shred packing routes like the Arizona Trail, Utah's Grand Loop, and the Colorado Trail. The Bird Hawk 27 carbon wheel set checks all my boxes. Ordering the rims, hubs, and spokes separately just so I could build them myself would have been inefficient, plain and simple. I've gotta say it was pretty exciting when the wheels showed up at my door ready to rock and roll. They came taped and had Stan's valve stems installed. Although I did quickly swap out the silver valve stems for some blue ones I had lying around, I guess I had to add at least one little personal touch. For now, Bird offers the Hawk 27 wheels with three hub choices, their own Talon hook flanged hubs, traditional style industry nine Hydra hubs, or the Onyx Vesper hook flange hubs that I went with. Each of the wheel set has slightly different pricing, which is currently as follows. $2,095 with the Talon house brand hubs and a 36 tooth free hub ratchet. Or you can pay 50 bucks more for an upgraded 54 tooth ratchet, making it 2,145 bucks. If you go with the Industry 9 hubs, it costs $2,295 and it's 100 bucks more or $2,395 if you go with the Onyx Vespers. The Hawk 27 wheels have a 27 millimeter internal rim width. If that's not wide enough for you, they also offer them with a 30 millimeter width. You guessed it, they're called the Hawk 30s. They also offer a 30X version, which is a burlier downhill model, as well as other gravel and road wheels as well. I should note that you can purchase bird spokes on their own for eight bucks a pop, and they're compatible with straight pull and J-bend hub flanges. There's just a few more nuances to deal with during the build process. All the info and detailed instructions are on the bird website. Some more general notes about the Hawk 27 wheels. The hubs are only spec'd for center lock rotors and they're only available with a 24 hole configuration. And holding everything together are Supreme Polyax double square secure lock nipples. Back to my personal wheels, I pulled them out of the box and weighed them for funsies. Bird had a claimed weight of 1,350 grams for the wheel set with i9 Hydra hubs. My wheels come in at 1480 grams for the set this is right in line since the Vesper rear hub is heavier than the i9 Hydra. As for the breakdown, the front wheel weighs in at 622 grams and the rear tips the scale at 858 grams. There we go. Look at that. No compressor, just a floor pump with one hand. I installed rotors and a cassette, then I took them out on a quick test ride to bed in the new rotors, check the shifting, and shake the sealant up. Right after that, I literally packed everything up to fly to Arizona and go racing. I considered going with Bird's Talon hubs just to try something new. And you definitely can't go wrong with i9s either, but I've been waiting for Onyx to make a hook flange Vesper for a couple years. I did a review of the made in Minnesota fat bike wheels they produced with Head and Bird. And after seeing their hook flange fat bike hubs and learning they intended to produce a mountain bike version, I knew I'd eventually want some. It's like a harp, I'm like a harpist. So fast forward to now and it's no surprise why I chose these hubs. 
I have a set of J-Bend Vespers on another wheel set I built up last year, and I'm addicted to the silence and soft instant engagement. I made an in-depth, long-term review of them, so if you're in the market, check it out for more details and insight. I dissect the Sprague Clutch technology and all the pros and cons, and I've got a link below. For these wheels, I chose to keep it mellow with silver hubs and end caps or widgets, as Onyx calls them. For now, I threw on some black rotor lock rings I had lying around, but I do plan to replace them with a set of silver ones from Wolftooth, which just happens to be another Minnesota-based company. So as I mentioned with the fat bike wheels, I learned about the bird spaghetti spokes at the same time I was introduced to the Onyx hook flange tubs. And this was also love at first sight. Again, I discussed the bird spokes in depth in the fat bike wheel video, so watch that if you wanna geek out. I'll just keep it to a few bullet points here. They're made from Dyneema, so they're wiggly and floppy until you tension them up, and they only weigh 2.5 grams each. This saves you anywhere from 100 to 250 grams per wheel set over various traditional steel spokes. They're also stronger than steel spokes, and they offer more vibration damping. I kid you not, I'm truly looking forward to the day when these spokes are on all my bikes. Dyneema's natural color is white, which is why the spokes are white. But Bird also offers them in black, or you can purchase a spoke coloring kit and dye your spokes different colors if that's your jam. Personally, I dig the white. And if they get dirty, you just clean them with dish soap and they look nice and new again. Instead of trying to develop their own rims for the Hawk series of wheels, Bird decided to partner with an already reputable rim manufacturer. So that's where We Are One Composites comes into play. They're based in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, and their carbon rims are handmade, or should I say, hand laid in-house. They've also been on my radar for a while, so when I heard Bird partnered with them, that sealed the deal. The Hawk 27 rims are very similar to We Are One's own faction rims. They're double wall carbon, so they're nice and strong, yet they're still light, weighing a respectable 425 grams per rim. The Hawks have a slightly shallower rim depth of 18 millimeters versus the 21 millimeter for the factions. The low profile offers radial compliance, which in layman's term means it dampens chatter over rough terrain at high speeds, especially when matched up with the bird spokes. At the same time, they're laterally stiff for nimble responsive handling. Another feature is the 3.75 millimeter wide rim lip that adds strength and minimizes potential damage from acute impact. The hookless beads are optimized for tubeless tires from 2.1 to 2.5 inches in width. And what do you know, I'm currently rocking them with 2.3 inch Continental Cross Kings. As you already saw, they inflated with zero fuss with my floor pump. One last note is the curvy shape of the rim and the clear coat finish. Both of these help mud and grime to beat off the surface and it's very easy to wipe away dirt and keep them clean. So yeah, as I already mentioned, I took these wheels for their maiden voyage on the Arizona Trail. And it's pretty hard to hide the fact that I'm super stoked on the investment. I intend to beat them up a bunch more before coming back with my detailed long-term takeaway. If that's something you'd like to see, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have the notification bell turned on. As always, I love hearing from you, so please leave your questions and comments down below, and don't forget to hit the like button and share this video if you enjoyed it. I look forward to catching you on the next one, and until then, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.